everyone and welcome to Self Help Fitness. Today is Wednesday and we're talking about performance. So today we're going to talk about one of the number one exercises that you as a trainer or client can start doing to increase your performance on every level. So let's show you an example of the overhead barbell squat and also talk about why it's one of the number one movements that you should be doing every single day. As a fitness director and a guy that manages gyms all around the country, I can tell you that I always taught my trainers and any client I talk to how this is actually a squat test. So we use this as trainers to see what your mobility is, how your performance is looking through this movement because it gives us a lot of key information as to how you're going to perform in a lot of other exercises. There's very few exercises that you can do that will expose your body and its weaknesses from every aspect, okay? So the overhead barbell squat is one of those movements, so let's get into it. All right, so as you can see here, we're showing you four different viewpoints of me doing the overhead barbell squat. Now, you'll notice that as I'm going through this movement, this is actually the first time I'm doing it today. So you can see that at this point, I've built up the ability to be able to kind of do this first thing. And that's gonna be your goal is to be able to build up to where the first movement you do every day to check yourself to see if you have any aches and pains in your knees, elbows, to check your shoulder rotation should be this overhead barbell squat. Okay, especially if you're having a day that you're gonna do shoulders, you're gonna do some back, you're gonna do legs, okay? Um, but regardless of all that, again, this, this, is, this exercise is going to expose uh, to you through your arms, your legs, any aches and pains that you might have, any immobility. So, for example, if you're going all the way down and your, your heels are coming up off the ground, then you might want to look into, you know, stretching out your hips, your calves, quads, hams, things like that. Um, same thing as if you're going down and you're noticing that you can't get comfortable with the bar up, you know, on top of you, be, uh, you know, above your head because um, your shoulders aren't rotating correctly or it's not comfortable if you're not strong enough. So this is going to build that strength and that range of motion that you need. All right. All right. So there you have it, the overhead barbell squat. I hope that the video I took for you will give you enough information so that you can go ahead and start trying this on your own. Again, if you don't have the barbell yourself at home or you're too afraid because of some injuries to start doing this um, with the barbell at the gym, go ahead and grab you a, you know, a, more of like a broomstick and you can slowly work on this. Um, in the future, we'll show some examples of some other clients and how some people start in this position and how they end up, okay? Also, keep in mind that if you're having trouble maximizing this movement, you can go to selfhealthfitness.com to sign up today under performance or for mobility, performance, and nutrition, and we can start teaching you what you need to do so that you can get to where you can perfect this movement. I guarantee that if you can perfect this movement, you're going to put your body in a situation that it's going to be healthy for all the days of its life. Okay, because again, there's very few movements that we can do that support all the functions of what we're trying to achieve here when it comes to true self-health fitness, all right? Okay, so there you have it. That's what we have for the overhead barbell squat. I hope that you start trying it today. Comment below if you guys have questions um, and let me know again what you want me to talk about when it comes to performance every Wednesday. Okay, you can go to selfhealthfitness.com and sign up.